Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this one we are going to be unboxing this J.O. UV resin curing enclosure. There are UV lights inside of it uh, to cure our resin prints after alcohol bath. And it has like 405 nanometer UV LEDs inside of the six of them. And we will basically start unboxing, assemble it and make a review of it in this video. Let's start. Okay, let's open this UV resin curing enclosure box. We have the first panel. UV lights assembled on the strip. The sixth panel. The fifth one. Number four. Number three. And here is the turntable portion. Is there a number on this? Yeah, number two. We have the controller, power adapter, some washers, a screwdriver, I assume this is called Jake warranty card, yes. Some discount from J.O. Yep. And here we have the assembly manual. Let's move on to the assembly. Yeah, these are the, all the parts on the table. I just wanna show you guys. It's very straightforward, there are very few pieces. We will just assemble them probably within minutes. So let's start the assembly. This is the piece number two. We will get this piece number two. And the piece number one, where there are six LEDs, UV LEDs. We will place them like this and connect the UV LED connection. Like this. And then plug in the back section to the holes that you see in the image. At the same time, we want it to fit properly. So let's see how we can do this. You need to be, let it stay like this. And we want that hole and cables to align. Okay. Unlike its user manual says, what we're going to do, we will go ahead and put these plastic rings in here at this step. Not until, I'm not going to wait until I assemble everything because it's not gonna hold them together. So I'm just gonna hold these so that they don't come out back. And this holds like this. Now I will go with the number three. So the number three has its limit switch on it too. So we will go over it and place it like this. There are four insert points that will go into the holes and make sure the limit switch is in here and after you insert them turn it like this and put these plastic rings to hold it in place perfect and now we are going to get number five, actually number four, sorry. Number four and place it on the top portion. And again, I'm going to place the plastic rings to hold it in place. I like this plastic ring, it's really easy to attach and good idea, definitely a good idea. 
Now what I'm going to do is to insert this door here to the hole. There's a hole in there. While I'm doing that, I will go back to the number five and place it. I'm going to take this number five and connect it with the rest of the system. There are four inserts again needs to be done. While I did that, I'm going to place number six into those bottom holes and by holding the entire system, I am just going to put these plastic holders and my door fall off. Now I'm going to put the door back in. While the door is still attached, I'm going to stabilize this bottom insets, inserts. One more and one more. I did one extra. I'm not sure if I miss anything. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two here. One, two, three, four, five, six here. I think that's an extra. Now, as you can see, this is the UV box. When I close it, it says Jio. The logo on the door. It's pretty easy assembly. Now I am going to turn it down like this. And you will see that there's this limit switch connection that we need to make. Let's make that limit switch connection. Done. Also there's the hole in here where this um supposed where this one's supposed to be from that hole. I missed that part. Can I put it back in? Yes I can. Yep. I just got it out from the hole. So I hope you guys watch this video entirely before starting the assembly because you need to pull this out when you are doing the second portion of this. Attachment of this plate and the second plate. Now we should be ready almost. We are going to get our controller, plug it in. And controller is ready. I now let's take the power cord, plug it in. So when I do that, my controller beeps. It doesn't flash by the way like this. Uh, it's on the camera only. It says on off. This is the time. If I remember correctly, this is in seconds. Yeah, this is in seconds. So if I say on and off, it says out, but if I don't close the U the V door, it's not going to work. So let's do that. So I'm just going to close it and it starts working. It counts as a timer. Uh, you guys might be able to see it, but it counts back. So entire thing is seconds in here. While it's working, I can press it, but whenever I press it, it basically loses. It basically it stops the output. I think the full was six hundred. Maximum time that we can do this is six hundred. 600 seconds which is 10 minutes I don't understand why because they didn't put any coolers on the UV LEDs that's why they are going to burn out if we run it over time I don't know if it's gonna last for 600 seconds it should because it's arranged that way but there's no coolers on it so that's a problem and inside of it there's a turntable so whenever I do this the UV LED limit switch clocks in there and this one stops turning and whenever I press it it starts turning and I can hear the noise in there the motor noise too and it turns out that there's a bug in the I have a bug in the plate and that's a 
ladybug i don't know what ladybug is doing there but it's going to get fried anyways okay so each time i open the door it stops the uv each time i close it it starts again and the maximum amount is 600 seconds which is 10 minutes it's a pretty simple device there is no big on off like what i mean is you can click on and off from here but this controller will never go off so you need to unplug it I think it's really good machine for the price. Okay, I just have right now a couple pieces just printed out of the resin printer. Let me wash them in IPA and bring in he bring them here and let us cure them and see how they are going to come out. And now I took out some prints from my IPA bath. This is Desert Kiss from Thingiverse and we have like some Lego hair samples. Now we are going to dry them. Okay, I'm going to close this and I'm going to start, um, let's do so 300 seconds, I'm going down all the way, and I click on off, and it starts, now we will keep it in there, and it's going to beep when everything is finished, okay, now in the last 10 seconds, it starts beeping in the last five seconds and when the seconds are done, it shuts off. And so our drawing is complete at this point. Okay, let's open the box and remove our objects. And here is the desert case. It is pretty much dried. So this is what you need from a UV resin dryer and it does the job. This is dried. Nothing is sticking to my hand. Here is my hair samples, which are um, clear, which are clear, which are three D printed with clear resin, and they little bit become yellowish in the process, which means that they are dry too. Cool. The job is done. It definitely works, and it is cheap. Okay, what do I think of this machine? Uh, so basically, you can see my models that I also showed them in close uh, look too. It works, it cures. For $36 machine, it does the job that I need to do. So simply, it has this uh, lever section over here, right? And there's a limit switch right in here, so it stops the UV uh, lights when you open the bar, even if the operation is going on. And it can um, cure up to 10 minutes, like 600 seconds. and uh, it's pretty simple it's just plug and play and you don't even put a screw on it uh, there's like this silicone um, rings that you put around it when you assemble it you remember from the assembly portion of this video and it does the trick and inside you guys know that there's a rotating table and the lights at the middle right again for 36 bucks this is a really good machine and I don't understand why they uh, limit it for 10 minutes because there's no cooling in the in the box and there's no cooling in the UV LEDs. So basically if you overuse them, they're going to burn out. So I'm not sure how long this is gonna work, but as long as you work within the timing, which is like 10 minutes, right? And it should be very fine. And these UV LEDs in general last longer. And with the rotating table in there, you basically rotate your object and you cure it well enough and my results here are showing me that everything is really cured and I used only three minutes um, so it was very successful and the rotating table does five to ten rotation per minute so it is pretty good too um, I don't think any other words are that much necessary uh, I will keep using it for a bit and I will comment down below on this video if it breaks or burns out but so far so good I think this is a really decent machine and it is the low end of the UV curing boxes. 36 bucks is just like nothing for this kind of thing, right? 
So that's why I like it. In the next video, I will be um, in the next video I will be reviewing in the next video I will be reviewing like hundred bucks UV cure and washing machine and another UV cure machine that's around three hundred bucks a big one. So we will compare these three steps like cheap, mid level, and the high end, and we will take a look at them one by one and see which one is really good, which one is not, or what are the what are the benefits and the, what are the what are the advantages and disadvantages for paying three hundred bucks versus paying thirty six bucks? But overall, for curing the old resin prints that you have, um, I think all of them are going to do the same job at the end of the day. It will depend on how they look, what are their functionalities, can you program them or not? And I think at the end of the day, it's the materials used in it regarding its quality but at the end of the day they all do the one thing that's curing the resin prints and this machine gets the job done for 36 dollars i'm putting the links down below so feel free to comment down what you think did you use this machine what are your opinions comment them down below so that we can know what are your experiences as well did it fail in a week did it fail after a year let me know. I have been using it very recently, so I am a new user. I'm not an old user, so I want to hear from the old users. Tell us. Comment down below. What are your experiences with this one, so that other viewers and uh, so that other viewers and followers of this channel can know about it. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next videos where we will renew new UV resin curing boxes. See you guys in the next video. Take care.